One of the, uh, I guess, streams, revenue streams that many artists have taken advantage of uh, is streaming. Everybody's trying to get on playlists. Right. How, what is the best way to get on these playlists? There are millions of artists out there. Everybody's trying to get, uh, you know, the 10, 20, 50 spots on these playlists and there's just not enough playlists to go around. So is there a way that artists can ensure that they'll get on these playlists? There's a lot of people out there saying, hey, give me X amount of dollars and I can get you on a playlist. Should I trust these people? Like what's the best way for artists to get on these playlists? Because that's another revenue stream that they could take advantage of. Man, I say the best way is honestly, either trial and error or to have a relationship. It really comes down to that. Elaborate on trial and error. What does that mean exactly? Trial and error is paying somebody and not knowing if it's high quality real until after it happens. Okay. It Are you seeing what it is. in your experience, there is no more organic. I just put out a hot record and my record just winds up on a playlist. Is that almost not the case anymore? Yeah, not at all. Really? Um, so so right now I can come out with the next, I don't know, the, the next biggest record on the planet. Sean Prez, brand new artist, and I got a monster. <laughs> You're saying that there's little to no chance, Prez, I hate to bust your bubble, but as much as you might know, as much as all your friends in, in, in that core 100, uh, person fan base you have may tell you this is a hit. Mm -hmm. You getting on some of those playlists organically probably is not going to happen. I mean, well, think about how many core fan bases there are out there who really say, man, I wish it's got experience more and more people should appreciate that artist. Like, so one, you already have to deal with the subjective game. And two, there's Spotify in bed with the labels for you know, better or worse. And the labels are only gonna let so much happen because this is real estate, right, for them. So they're fighting for that. Just like, you know, Lay's and, and, and um, I don't know, Golden Flake are fighting for space on the shelf at Kroger. You know what I mean? Like that's that game when we talk about the biggest and official playlist, even if you say, even if they have rules in the building that you can't, just you know, pay somebody and things like that. You still have to know certain people. There's, there's still, hey, look, if you ain't signed, if you're not X, Y, and Z, you're not gonna get on those playlists. Then you have the other playlists that are third party, which a lot of these companies, whether it's Spotify or whoever, aren't extremely favorable towards. That's when you get into the risk of, is, is the playlist real or not? Should I pay this um, guy my money? There are some playlists that will put your money, your music on for free. Um, you know, even when you reach out thinking you're going to pay, right? And they go, oh man, I rock with this artist so much and I see that, oh man, just, yeah, I'm going to put them, put them on my playlist. Had that happen plenty of times before. But the reality is um, like so many of those playlists, if they have music on them and they are quality, they're only putting music on them to, to have a platform that they can charge to get on. So most likely it's not going to be a young new artist, right? Or that's trying to get attention that's not paying to get on. It's somebody that's already going to get them attention that's not paying to get on. And then you get into this mix naturally. Because also you don't want to hit just very few people in terms of just human nature that are just going to go, well, let me go hear a whole playlist of artists that I don't know and songs that I don't know completely. All right? That's just not how um, most people work. So the organic. Let's just talk about Spotify, biggest platform, most that people want to know, right? The most version, the biggest, the most direct version of organic and that they do have is like I referred to earlier in the conversation. And that was the algorithm, right? If you can get enough activity where the algorithm picks it up, you have a high chance to end up on things like Discover Weekly um, and, and, and so on over time, whether it's because people save your, um, your stuff. So now you end up on there on their like, you know, their new music recommendations or you have enough attention where it starts to get picked up 
And it can happen where, bam, enough attention happens. It gets on all these algorithmic playlists that picks things up based on people's behavior and what they like. That's nice. And then maybe it's heard by so many people. Um, there's somebody at a that works at Spotify has an editorial because they hear it, they're a fan on it, they want to give it a shot. But it's such a slim part of the game. You can't plan around that. And, you know, for better or worse, it's, it's almost non-existent when we talk about playlist. Everything is is there and done for a pur- purpose. And I don't understand that as a marketer, right? Like everybody has their agenda and it's being set up. And look, if I had a platform that got people millions of streams, I would charge for it. I would tell anybody to charge for that. You know, <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense. You put in that work and now because people say, oh man, you know, like I would, I, you know, so it just kind of a, is what, what it is thing. And you gotta, the faster you get past that little glossy, rosy, uh, rose colored glasses and, and seeing in front of the curtain that you get when you grow up, because that's a problem. We all see in front of the curtain when we grow up, we don't see behind until shit gets real and you decide to be in that industry, that's every industry. Um, yeah, until you get past that, then you're you gonna have a hard time in music, but really, like I said, pretty much any industry. Okay. You know, we spoke a lot about, and I know this is your um, strength, which is online, digital. Yep. If I'm a young artist, does terrestrial radio work for me? You're in Atlanta, V103. Do, 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 do I want to get my record played there? Should I focus my money on the DJs? Does the club still matter? Um, do any of these offline channels still hold weight for an artist trying to break? Or if I'm on a limited budget, the biggest return on my investment is going to come through online funnels by far is digital not even close especially for a new artist um when we talk about terrestrial radio and the top 40 and which is now you know everything is kind of like that um for the most part you don't get as much regional i can go to this city and hear their local stuff which was nice back in the day um like that's uh i i built this track up and now I'm trying to go to the next level of awareness. This commercial, commercial, that's when you hit the terrestrial radio for the most part. You're not gonna get much from that aside from that. Now, the club, I don't care what you say, you're never gonna tell me that having a group of people together and them having the ability to experience your music as one, at once is not gonna ever like not be relevant. Like that's all, the clubs are always gonna be relevant. That just is what it is. Um, some people might not know how to work them or you not, might not make music for the clubs, but the clubs will always be relevant. Um, and and the, be- the ability to target and be in clubs in certain areas, is, it's, it's really easy, um, easier than being online in some, uh, in some ways, if you can if you can play that game. And yeah, you know but you, know, you wanna game. know so many people are not, they, they, don't, wanna, they don't wanna put the work in. Um, the club yeah. requires you to get up and physically go and work. Uh, yeah, and relationships and all that stuff. Yeah, and, and, and you have to cultivate those relationships. You gotta be up to the wee hours of the morning doing what you do. Yep. Being online, pushing buttons is so much easier. And I, I'm with you. I think that there's never gonna be a substitute for those clubs, people drinking, hearing your music loud, the way it was intended to be heard, yep. um, all in one. And having an experience to it. There you together. go. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Uh, but so many artists do not want to put in that work because it does take time. It does take time for even if a DJ hits your record once, twice a night to, to create that familiarity with that audience. You know, this is months long process. So <clears throat> I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think that that's never going to um, be a bad outlet. But I was just wondering. Never. If Sean, I appreciate you being here. Where could my audience find you if they're looking for you? Go to Brand Man Network on YouTube. Go to brandmannetwork.com if you're trying to get educated, um, need some courses or or just consultations and thoughts from my thoughts from my team. You, that's a good place to start for most artists. Um, but if you have, you know, you're trying to run some agency type thing, you'll 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 go down a funnel. You'll see, you know. But go to one of those two and you'll end up where you need to be. 
I'll, my, my phone will make sure of it. <laughs> Sean, I appreciate your time. I mean, you're doing so many great things for uh, these up and coming artists. I, you know, my assistant told me about you and he was like, this is somebody that we need to get on the Power Move Makers platform because he is making moves um, and helping so many artists out there make moves. So I appreciate you. I salute you for what you're doing. And you are a true power move maker. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.